Boxes in. Horsell's been heavily backed and he let them go. They're racing in the Ascot Gold Cup. And double digit Spiritual Warrior the first away. Forceful's got out on terms with them right on speed early. And now Missile Launch and Taxagano. They're starting to press on now. Coming across the face of the field going into the first corner. Nawar Daru up nice and prominent also. Then Prize Catch down on the inside as they'd settled properly at the 1400. A length Dark Musket Friar Fox and then Decoy Noxious and back there last of all is no say in it and so they sort themselves out over towards the 1250 and it's the Kalgoorlie Gold Cup winner that leads the Ascot Gold Cup field to the river they go with a length and a half missile launch second two lengths double digit down on the inside the heavily backed commodity forcefuls up there running fourth being trailed then around them by Taxagano Nawar Daru just keeping it three deep on the track last year's winner of this race prize catch is hemmed away on the fence then a length and a half to Friar Fox starting to sneak up on the inside Insiders, no saying it goes around the outside of Dark Musket and Decoy Noxus is back last of all as they greet the 750. Spiritual Warrior making play and doing it well for Warwick by three quarters. Missile launch on the fence, double digit. Taxagano is going up now in advance of Forceful, who's being healed up on the rails in a bunching field. Prize catch Nawadaru in the middle being ridden along. No saying it coming around them three and four deep trail. Then by Decoy Noxus, Friar Fox held up. Dark Musket relegated to last into the home straight and over on the outside Missile Launch and race straight to the lead here. Forceful starts its run. Taxagano battling double digit back towards the inside. Missile Launch led them though with 150 to go. Now Pike goes to work. Forceful cuts it down. Coming again Taxagano. Taxagano on the outside. May have got the nose in front. Maybe it's Taxagano a breath forceful in an absolute thriller here in the Ascot Gold Cup with Missile Launch in behind them probably third from the luckless Friar Fox who got out late and stormed home from prize catch. Spiritual Warrior, double digit, decoy noxious, Nawadaru, no say in it and Dark Musket is back there last in. Taxagano. Number three, Taxagano who'd dropped off a bit on the corner but Peter Hall has been able to balance Taxagano up as forceful race to missile launch inside the last 100 but it was Taxagano who has really rallied he found something when the stakes were desperate and has again been able to rally and come at forceful to get home and score number three Taxagano over four forceful and third placing that will go the way of five missile launch and a massive run here by Friar Fox behind them. She got badly held up coming to the home corner, eventually worked her way through the ruck of the field and it was doing her absolute best work, finishing on strongly into fourth placing and fifth is prize catch last year's winner. A short head, two lengths, the margins. 150.35 is the time. Taxagano is by Regano from Taxa. Raced by Dr. Rod Luca Telich, Dr. M. Sturgeon, Mrs. S. Rickson, S. Erseg, J. Featherby. Trained by Fred Kersley and ridden by Peter Hall. So often is the case. Carnival time comes around and uh, P. Hall, well, he's always thereabouts. He's got the job done here. He's broken uh, the winning sequence of uh, William Pike who was going for four in a line. Forceful goes down by a narrow margin here in the Ascot Gold Cup of 2019. Race seven, the Breast Cancer Care WA Champion Philly Stakes at Group 3 level. It's over 1,600 at 437 and a field of 15. Wonderful finish and it took grit and determination by Taxagano to win and he certainly has shown that in this campaign. That's his second win in his last four starts as he comes back now to the Scales area. Britt Taylor's about to join us down in the yard. I'm not quite sure whether Fred's here this afternoon. Maybe he is. I think he is. He's just made his way in the Hall of Famer. He's with Britt Taylor. He certainly is. Fred Kersley joins me now. And Fred, he's a funny horse, isn't he? Because it almost seems like the harder he gets it out wide, the better he performs. What were your thoughts in running? In the round, I thought he couldn't win. And um, 50 metres to go, I stood in the end when, but he finds a way. And it's not very often you run down Willie Pike. No. Is that his greatest attribute, just his toughness and tenacity, just to keep finding to the line? 
I think, you know, he's a genuine one pace stayer and, um, you know, at shorter distances they catch him out. And mind you, he covers a bit of ground in the run most days, but uh, yeah, really happy. It was a, a great performance. Well, he definitely covered more than the 1800 metres today. What's next for him? Does he progress through this sort of staying campaign? Yeah, I, we'll carry on with him while he's in good form. And there's, I think there's another 1800 metre race coming up and then we'll reconsider where we go. We might even go on a little further later on. Well, congratulations on taking out the Ascot Gold Cup. Thank you. Fred Kersley joining me there, the trainer of Taxagano, a horse that really deserved that victory, uh, Scott. And to think that you said it before the race and just sometimes that he goes better the harder run that he has. And uh, that's exactly what we saw. He just kept grinding to the line. He certainly does, Britt. He loves being out there in fresh air. He, he just keeps coming and coming. And talk about an old tradesman. Here's Peter Hall. But uh, Taxagano, Pete, he just loves it out there on his own. Well, you know, um, what do I do? go forward and burn all my juice or pull him back so I just rode it like a track gallop and um, I must say I was um, in a bit of trouble on the corner but uh, when forceful out sprinted him but once he gets in a straight line he just finds another gear and he really digs in. Confidence levels that he'll get through this staying campaign and see out a 21, 2200 metre race? Oh look it was, I, I had my first riding on him at a 1400 and I su suggested to Fred that um, 16 and 1800 but I couldn't see no reason why he couldn't get a bit further. Congratulations, Hawley. Well done. Thank you. Well, he knows how to ride a big race, Peter Hall, and he's done it again here in the Ascot Gold Cup. Taxagano, this year's winner of the 1800 metres.